This is Reese again, looking at some of my phone apps. Another one I use a lot is the Fitbit app, because I wear a Fitbit, so why would I not have the app, right? So what I like about it is that it obviously tracks my steps. So if we're doing a 10,000 step goal, I can just wear my Fitbit and it will track it. Um, one downside for me is like if I'm sitting in a rocking chair or riding something, I don't know. Sometimes it'll track steps that I really don't want it to have, but you have the same issue with a regular pedometer. So there have been times, though, that I've taken it off. Or, like, if I'm going to wash dishes, it's obviously not water-resistant. So I have to take it off for a number of different reasons. But, you know, for the most part, it's nice to have. Um, obviously, I haven't done anything yet today. So I don't have very many steps. I don't have very many calories burned. I think the calories are based off of just, like, my base metabolic rate or something like that. Just based off of my height and weight. Um, but it does, tr the track exercise, I think it works better if you track your actual workout on the Fitbit. So you can go into a section on your Fitbit and change it to workout mode rather than having it just automatically figure out your working out based off of your heart rate and erratic movement. Um, this is your sleep. Just doesn't, uh, doesn't show that I've slept very well recently so that's that July 8th was so amazing um but it gives you insight I guess and makes you feel bad that you didn't get any sleep um resting heart rate I'm not actually wearing my Fitbit right now because I've been just sitting and I don't know I'm just not um so obviously my heart rate is not very high it's good to very good at despite the fact that I'm not I'm not very uh, physically fit I don't know why it keeps changing um, moving each hour you can have it remind you to move each hour I do not because I work an office job and you have to move like 250 steps which doesn't sound like a lot but it'd be weird to do every hour and honestly most of the time when I go for a walk, I just go for like an hour and a half walk. And I'm like, okay, there are my steps. Um, I don't use this period thing right here. <laughs> so it just, it's something I would delete, but I'm trying to show off all of the available tiles. This does not represent my actual period for the record. I just feel like that would be TMI, but, you know, it makes me feel awkward just having it on the screen. But it is available to any woman who would want it. Um, I use my fitness pal for calories. I believe it, yeah, it will uh, pair up and it will add that by itself, I think. Yeah, if you go into it, apparently, which... I don't go into very often because it's not important to me since I'm using a different app. I don't track my water even though I probably should and I haven't lost any weight. I've gained weight since I've gotten this. So it goes to show that when you wear a Fitbit it just kind of doesn't even have that much of a powerful guilt but I do think it's helpful when you are more on target with what you want to do and more goal oriented you can at least see what you want so editing is easy I don't want that I don't want the guilt um, I don't want the water I don't want the food uh, I like having the how much if I'm moving each hour just because some days I'm like oh I didn't move more than I wanted to or wanted to more than I expected that I did because it'll have a little dots to show each hour that you succeeded so that's the one thing that doesn't make you feel guilty I like seeing my resting heart rate in case there's something medical going on where suddenly my heart rate is changing dramatically I don't know just like having it and I like to track my sleep um I keep all of these things on top and my goal is always the steps so that is the Fitbit app um
Um, I think it's pretty useful if you have a Fitbit, but it's it. The worst thing for me is definitely the syncing issue. It, I have to manually sync it. I have it set now at like I turned off all day sync, but it was on and it wasn't syncing for more than a day. Like I have to open the app and be like, hey, hey. And sometimes it'll take like five minutes before the data will update. So I don't know if that's my phone, my Fitbit, or if it's just a really slow app. But that is frustrating because it doesn't seem to work if my screen turns off. So I have to keep my phone active. It's useful, but it's kind of... If this app feels a bit like a necessary evil with the Fitbit rather than something that's actively fun for me to use. But overall, you know, I like having a Fitbit and I like that it automatically connects. Well, it can connect when I manually sync it to, um, I have to manually sync this app. Then after I've had it synced, I can go into my fitness pal and probably not now because I haven't moved, but it will track your steps here. Oh, there it goes. It tracks your steps there automatically. And then if you've actually walked like 10,000 steps, it'll convert that into exercise up at the top. So when you're doing the calories in, calories out sort of thing, it very easily does the math for you. So overall, I like the way that these apps work in conjunction even though the Fitbit app itself is a little bit frustrating for me to use.